why would somebody go to the trouble of cutting all the strings off? We'll talk about that. It's quite poor. Hello and welcome, my name is Ian and this video is a cautionary tale about buying things from auctions. Now, if you've seen the channel before, you'll know that I'm a music retailer and we mainly deal with uh, distributors and brands like Korg and people like that. And we deal direct with those companies and then we resell their products on the internet. But occasionally we buy what we think is new stock, but not always, from auction sites. One of the things that we bought recently, last month, was this. And this is how it arrived. This is a uh, ukulele bass, uh, a U bass. Uh, so it has rubber strings, we'll say. Um, now, my question is, and it came like this straight out of the box. So uh, the box didn't say anything about you know, why it was like that. The picture on the website, which I'll sort of put here, showed a ukulele bass with full strings. And it makes me wonder, why would somebody go to the trouble of cutting all the strings off? Because they've definitely been cut, they've, you know, they these strings, they're, they're, they're hard to break really because they're, they're sort of very rubberized. So what sort of mentality of the person that would buy something um, decide they don't want it? I think it was an, uh, an Amazon uh, return, but they then cut all the strings off and send it back and it then gets shipped out uh, to uh, an auction site. Now, the, the thing is that um, I actually think it's worth repairing and sorting out. Um, the strings on these things uh, are not that expensive. Uh, I mean, they range from about, uh, the cheapest set is about £15 to uh, about £40, £50. Now, these things retail at around about £150, uh, although I think the auction site said it was £135. I've researched them and they go for about £150, maybe slightly more. So this is a project really and I will actually I will do a video of me restringing it and setting it up properly because um, I need to re-glue the, uh, the nut back in and we'll set it up and we'll play with it and we'll make it pristine. And while we're talking about auction sites, it's also worth mentioning that um, the information you get from an awful lot of these online auction sites where you can't go and visit, go and visit the actual site, you have to just bid online. Uh, and it can be a double-edged sword. So to sort of give you the example of some of the things that we have bought, uh, we bought uh, a, a load of uh, violin shoulder rests now, uh, the thing about these are that they don't say which size they are, and they didn't say on the auction what size they were. Um, luckily, they, uh, they are full size, or three quarter full size. We could have, I mean, we, and we bought quite a lot of these. I think we bought about 40 of them. And we are able to, because we bought them at auction, we are able to undercut practically everybody else in the UK for these. And they're, they're quite a nice, sort of wooden effect plastic shoulder rest but they're they're we, we've tried it on a violin and they are very very good uh, the things that didn't go so well is um we bought what was what was uh, identified as a uh, a load of drumsticks it was just a lot of drumsticks is what it said didn't see how many and um this is what they look like Okay, and th this is the bit, and I'll put the pictures in, in here. This is what the bit that they they showed us, and then they showed us the pointy bit. And I, I mean, I said to, to, to Jane, um, well, A, they don't look like drumsticks, but they're selling, they're selling them as drumsticks. Uh, and, um, 
are they some sort of a weird percussion drumstick anyway when they turn up and there's a lot of them there's probably about 400 of these things they uh they the whole lot cost us including shipping and everything else about 35 pounds um and what they had missed was on on the actual thing uh it says world culture 12.0 millimeters and they're actually wool knitting needles um so we rang them up we rang up the auction house and said look we've bought these things you've, you've sold them as drumsticks but they're not you know they're still you can, you can take them we'll take them back but you'll have to send them back and there were so many of them that it would have probably cost us 20 pounds to send them back now the reality is we only paid 35 pounds for them and actually what we've been doing is yet again we've looked at what the cheapest price of these things are um, they're not musical but we're just selling them through ebay uh, and we're selling them in pairs not singles and we're undercutting everybody else and we're selling them for about three pound fifty for a pair whereas uh, other ebayers uh, or other online shops were selling them for three pound fifty each so it was that sort of thing so we were able to do that and they are they are selling out we've sold probably Although, like I said, there's about 400 of them. We've sold probably about 40 since before Christmas. Okay. Um, the other thing is, um, one of the first things we bought was, um, and it just said, a lot of ukulele soprano bags. And they're actually quite a high quality soprano bag. Um, they're a five millimeter padded bag. They, they, they are new. They all come with these. And we have got a hundred of these, or we had a hundred of these. We haven't got a hundred now because they've been selling them. Now, and then when we check the retail price, the retail price of these is 1995. So uh, we're actually able to do them at under a tenner. Uh, and we have been popping them out across all our sites. So they're on Reverb, they're on Amazon, they're on eBay and on our own website. And I think we're doing them for about seven pounds, 95, including shipping. So if you need a ukulele bag, a soprano bag, a really good quality one with a little zip pocket, and they came into us once once we worked out all of the fees they came into us at uh 40p each now the, the it's worth mentioning it, that while we're talking about what's called the hammer price so if you if you bid on something and say it costs 10 pounds you can that's not and the hammer price when it, when the, the auction finishes is 10 pounds that's not what you're going to be paying. Uh, you can pretty much double it, and over the and I have actually worked out a scale for one particular auction site, so I know exactly if it's ten pounds, it's actually going to be eighteen pounds, nineteen pounds, whatever it is. Um, so you need to sort of almost double what the hammer price is by the time you get shipping involved, uh, and different auction houses do different shipping prices as well. Um, so that is something to be aware of really i've seen some guitars go for quite a lot of money so somebody's paid 250 pounds at hammer price for, for a guitar and so they're going to be paying nearly 500 pounds now it's not a new guitar in a lot of cases uh, we particularly look for new items um and we we don't always we don't always manage that certainly this item is not new it was uh, an Amazon return, we think, you know. So, you know, you've got to be careful what you buy from auction. The other thing is we, 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 we've got a load of these. Uh, these are notebooks um, and these came into us at uh, 20 pounds each, including all the shipping. What I do is total up the whole price and divide it by however many. In this case, we had 40 of these came in. Uh, they've literally just come in, so they've just gone online, uh, but they have started to sell. Uh, now these retail on Amazon at, I think £10.95, something like that. Uh, we're doing them, uh, including shipping at £7.95. Um, so you, you can get some real bargains at auctions, but you really have to be careful my advice is don't go for Amazon returns, although you, you don't always know that they are, but you can look at the quality of the box. Usually what happens is that the auction site will put two or three pictures of uh, the item uh, and they... I've just sold another ukulele bag. Um, so what can happen is they'll put two or three pictures 
and then you have to try and make an informed decision as to whether it's worth bidding on that particular item or whether you've got enough information. So there is a, there's always a risk involved and we have fallen foul of this a couple of times. Like I say, the drumsticks was one thing, but actually the drumsticks are selling, oh, not the drumsticks, the knitting needles. We did buy a keyboard. The box looked in really good condition. It was uh, an analysis keyboard. When it turned up, it powered up fine and everything was there, the power supply and everything. Um, the drum, the drum machine part of it worked, uh, the actual keyboard itself doesn't work. So that's, it's, you know, uh, we'll, we haven't decided what to do with it yet. Uh, it's probably not worth repairing. We will either probably try and sell it as, as seen and get peanuts for it. Now we paid, including shipping, we paid £35 for that. So we've made a loss on that, really. Whatever we do with it, we've made a loss on it. So you have to weigh up what's actually worth bidding for. Like I said, we tend to try and bid for just new things, but you can't always tell. Um, anyway, if, you, if, you've, if you're exploring the online uh, auction business, um, pop some comments down below uh, and I'm happy to answer any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Cheers now. Bye-bye.